Hi, I'm Walt with West Palm Dog, and today with Louie, we're working on the go to bed command. So, to start it off, what I do is I just throw a piece of food, which he gets enthusiastically, and then I'll actually throw a piece of food on the, on the carpet, and then he comes and lays down. So, what I'm trying to teach him is to target the mat, and when he gets the mat, to lay down and stay there. Yes. Whenever I want to end the stay, I'll tap him on the head. Release. That lets him know he can get up. So, I'll throw another piece of food. Louie, go to bed? Yes. Very good. Now I'm going to talk about the stay aspect. I want him to stay right there, okay? I flash the big hand signal to stay. I'm going to go for about 10 seconds. Yes. Now I'll tap on the head. Release. Now I can get up. So this is actually going to be the thing that we're going to focus the most on as, as it normally is the stay aspect of the go to bed. Because with Louie, when he decides he wants to go and try and find some water, or if he wants to go and investigate some smell, he'll just get up. So what we're doing is over time, continuing to treat him when, on, when he's on the bed. So he learns that the best place for him is just to relax, be on the bed, and treats will continue to flow. So, one more time. Louie, go to bed. We're going to build up that duration, but more than anything for Louie, this is an exercise in impulse control. Now, <clears throat> if Louie were to get up, what we call breaking the stay, then what I would do is I would grab his leash, put him back to where he was, he would not get a treat, and then we wait a few seconds before we reinforce the good behavior, which is remaining still. Yes. Tap on the head, release. Good job, Louie.